Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is for you. Welcome back to another Division 2 video. My name is Prime and today we're gonna talk about the new weapon blueprints that were added to the game with TU-20, Season 3 Vanguard and Project Resolve. There are a bunch of new blueprints and today we're gonna focus on the weapons and tomorrow I will show you all the new blueprints for the gear. So without further ado, let's dive right in and let me me show you what you can grind for in this new season. So to start off with a quick little bit of information, these blueprints are in the descent. All these blueprints are the named blueprints that were added to the descent, a game mode that you can get through a reconstructed cache, by getting it while running through the descent, or of course buying it on the new NSA vendor, because they have added the reconstructed caches. From those caches you will always get a named blueprint, but it's all RNG. So it doesn't mean that if you get an AR blueprint, then the next one will be an AR as well. It's all RNG, so you need to get lucky to get one. That's pretty much a quick PSA for everybody. Like most people know, I like to make charts and I made a chart again. So we're gonna start with ARs, LMGs and SMGs. So starting with the ARs, we have the invisible hand that comes with perfect Allegro plus 12% fire rate. Then we have the Pyromaniac that comes with perfectly ignited amplifies weapon damage by 25% to burning enemies and after three kills applies a burn to the next enemy you hit and then we have the shield splinterer perfect optimist weapon damage is increased by four percent for every 10 percent ammo missing from the magazine and those are the three new named blueprints within the ar category then jumping over to the lmgs we have the big show that comes with perfect thunder strike amplifies weapon damage by 25 percent to shocked enemies and again after three kills applies shock to the next enemy you hit then for the second and last LMG, that's the DARE, and that comes with perfect flatline. Amplifies weapon damage by 25% to pulsed enemies, and after three kills, applies a pulse to the next enemy you hit. Then jumping over to the SMG category, we have the Cabaret, that will give us perfect Thunderstrike, amplifies the weapon damage by 25% to shocked enemies, and after three kills, applies shock to the next enemy you hit. Then Ameline's Guard, perfect preservation as a talent on there. Killing an enemy repairs 15% of your armor over 5 seconds. Headshot kills improve the repair by an additional 15%. And then the last LMG for this category, it's the safety distance and comes with perfect outsider. After killing an enemy, gain 125% optimal rage and 125% accuracy for 10 seconds. And those are all the new named blueprints coming to the ARs, the LMGs and the SMGs that we can get throughout the Descent game mode. Then jumping over to the rifle and the MMR category, of course, the marksman rifle, starting with the rifles. The artist tool is one of them, comes with perfect. A rifleman landing in headshots at a stack of bonus of 11% weapon damage for 5 seconds. Max stacks is 6 and additional headshot refresh the duration. Then for the last and second rifle, this is the stage left. Perfect sledgehammer on there and that does dealing damage with a grenade applies a mark on the target. Targets with the mark will take 40% more damage to armor and have minus 30% movement speed. Then jumping over to the MMRs, we have six of them. We have the commando, perfectly naked on there, hitting an enemy with no armor, grants 50% headshot damage for eight seconds. Then we have the designated hitter, perfect reformation on there, headshots grant 40% skill repair for 15 seconds. Then we have the Akeem's long stick, Perfect. Ranger has a talent on there. Amplifies weapon damage by 2% for every 4 meters that you are away from your target. Then we have the pinprick that comes with perfect first blood. If scoped, your first two shots fired from out of cover or after fully reloading from empty deals headshot damage to any part of the body. Then we have the relic that comes with perfect determined. After killing an enemy with a headshot, the next shot landed on 
any enemy will be a guaranteed critical headshot while the talent is active killing an enemy will not re-trigger this talent. And that's why the normal determined is so much better. Then jumping over to the last MMR and that's the darkness. It comes with perfect eyeless on there, amplifies weapon damage by 25% to blinded enemies. And again, after three kills, you will apply the bleed to the next enemy you hit. And then for our last two categories, those are the pistols and the shotguns. Starting with the pistols, the orbit is in there. Perfect finisher as the talent. Swapping from this weapon within 10 seconds of killing an enemy grants 35% critical hit chance and 40% critical hit damage for 50. Seconds. Then the last one, that's gonna be the Prophet. Again, with perfect determined on there. After killing an enemy with a headshot, the next shot landed on any enemy will be a guaranteed critical headshot. But while the talent is active, killing an enemy will not re-trigger the talent. Then for our last two blueprints in the shotgun category, it's gonna be the lefty with perfect sledgehammer on there. Dealing damage with a grenade applies a mark on target. Targets with a mark will take 40% more damage to armor and have minus 30% movement speed. And for the last one, this is going to be the Tsunami coming in with perfect pommel as the talent. Two consecutive kills refills the mag and grants 40% weapon damage for 10 seconds. And these were all the blueprints that were added with TU-22, the Descent a Loot Pool, to get it out of that reconstructed cache that will be dropped in a gameplay session of Descent, or of course you can buy with NSA credits in the NSA vendor. But I'm very, very glad that they're adding more and more blueprints to it. We also have two new open world blueprints as well. I already made a video about talking about that. So check that out. I will not dive into the details again. But there are some new blueprints in the open world as well. But that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for sticking until the end. If you're still here, you liked the video or helped you out in any way or form, make sure to like this video. And if you're new here, you want to be updated about the Division 2, the Division Universe and the future Division 3 because it is announced. Make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. And I will see you in the next one. Pure Prime out.